Okay, you know when you want to do a flight and little things happen that you don't expect, like you might drop a battery or you lose a cable or you bump your knee on the corner of the car or you get tripped up on a piece of wire and things just are telling you, don't do this. Well, this is what happened today. I had all the steps, everything that said, don't do this. And I did it anyway. So we had a connection problem. I dropped the battery and cracked it. I got tied up on wires. I caught my finger in the car door. I spilled coffee on my shoes. Everything was saying, don't do this flight. We did it anyway. Pardon my English, French, German, whatever. I was, yeah, I was, I was, literally, literally, new underwear, please. Uh, anyway, here's the story. Let's get to it. Okay, we have the Hubson Zeno Mini SE. We're going to do a waypoint mission way out there. We're going to lose connection, see if it goes beyond, farther than what a FEMI does. Now, you know the times when you want to do something and Things kind of happen that tell you you shouldn't be doing this. Well, I dropped the battery, popped out the button on the back, made a little crack in the back of the battery. That was number one. Number two, I got the mic wire wrapped around the door handle. Oops, that's number two. Number three, I forgot to erase all the video from the camera from before. So I have to do that, number three. So we'll see what happens. It's a little windy. It's not ideal, okay? It's blowing towards us. So I'm hoping when it, if it does come back, that we will get it. And I've set up that we're coming with the wind on the way back. I've set it up. We'll have some more details to it later. Let's see where we go, okay? So let's get it started. Okay, we're going to connect the drone now. Let's see what happens. So we've started the drone. And I'm going to start my screen recorder here. Three two, one, here we go. And we're gonna wait. Okay, I can see I'm, okay, I got this backwards here. Let's try to move the camera up and down. Yep, we can move the camera up and down. You can see it there. Okay, let's just go into here and let's get this screen right up there. See the things I forget all the time? Where's the format? Format, format, format. That's what I want to do. I want to format. Where's format? Hmm. Let's go back to here. Change to that. And we're going to go 1080p, 30. Okay, and we're going to go Format, format the card, formatting. Okay, we're waiting for satellites right now. We have 100% in the battery so far. So let's see what happens when we get our satellites. Okay, now 1080p. We'll go back to our picture there. That's our home point. The home point is right about there, and that's where it should end. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. That's about two and a half clicks out. Okay? So let's see what happens when we get. Now, this is the one I made offline. So I have to submit it. Weak GPS, can't go anywhere yet. Okay. Can't submit it until you get good GPS. 
So, just standing in the shade here. We have nine. And I want this to get it pretty quick because I don't want the wind to come up. We have nine. See how it's going. I know it's going to lose connection, but uh, we did the test the other day, so it should be pretty good. Uh, but we're not getting satellites today for some reason, and it's a clear blue sky day. Wow. Nine satellites, that's it. Wow. Come on. You can do it. I wonder how long it's going to take. That is one thing I have noticed. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not so good. Maybe this is the fourth thing that's telling me. Hmm? Maybe this is another thing. You really shouldn't be doing this. Well, maybe not. I've got a cracked battery. The power button fell out. Pushed it back in again. Uh, yeah, don't know. We're still up to nine. But... Still at nine and waiting. Come on, Droney. You can do it. ATI. We still have connection. Yep. Hmm. Now this is a long wait. Never had to wait this long. Can't start the motors yet. Have to wait for satellite. Well, there's lots of trucks moving up and down. But we're not getting anywhere on the satellites. Back to eight. And nine. Uh, walk around a bit. Don't know if that'll help. Maybe it is a little close to the house. But we shall see. It's been there before. Still moving up and down, yep. Come on, 10. Hmm. I might have to move it out some. We should be out flying by now. kicking up a little bit. Should be good. Hmm. Hmm. Let's stop that and move it away. Okay, we moved it out a little bit, start the controller, and 
see if we can get it connected. And we have We're connected there. Let's start the drone. And we started the drone. Let's see what happens here. I think we're still recording. So there we are, we have eight. nine. I just moved it out about five or six feet more. And we have nine. Hmm. Ten. There we go. We might be in luck. I need 11, I believe. And that's really weird. It's absolutely crystal blue sky. There we go. Okay. Let's submit this. Okay. Well, let's get it up in the air. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Let's get it up. We're up to 30 meters. There we go. We've got to go up to 70. Let's see how it's doing up there. There's 60. Okay, we have 100%. So let's start the video. Turn over. The video is at 1080p 30. Bring that down a bit. Here we go. Start the video. Back to this guy. Done. And Okay, now where's it gonna go? Let's just look at the video for a second here. Okay, yeah, it's going up to 70. Bit of a wind up there. Let's just check this out for now. Yeah, okay, down a bit. There we go. Okay, we're at 98%. Okay, let's go to that, and we know we're at five meters per second. Okay, and we're gonna go. So let's go back to this guy, and we're taking a video. So that's where it's at, and I'm gonna leave this right here. Let's start our little timer here, just to see how long the flight is. Okay. So as we go into that, we see that. And if we swipe down, there we go, we can lock it in. Okay. We'll go back to this guy, see where we're at, and we'll go back to that guy. Okay. And we're at 94%. So it's only going five meters per second and 5.7. And I calculated that it would take about 20 minutes to do a six kilometer out and back. So the way this one is, it's probably closer to five and a bit. So let's see, you can only make a waypoint mission where your waypoints from start to finish your waypoints are five kilometers. So 
If you want to go out three kilometers before you start your waypoint, you can do that. But you can't, st I couldn't start at the home point, go out the two and a half around the lake and come back because it was over the five kilometer mark. So I had to have the first one a distance out. And that's what we're doing. So let's have a look. We're still connected. I believe. We're at 91. How is that going? There we go. It's not going that fast, 4.4. So, we're at 90%. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to come back. Stop it. And return to home. Well, I hope I got it in time. Maybe I didn't. Not connected. Come on. I want you to return to home, my friend. Connected. I could lose it here, my friends. I could. Yeah, no kidding. I thought I disconnected it. Yeah, got it. Good. Too much wind. Too much wind. Well, there goes that idea. Just too, too much wind, I'm not gonna take a shot because it was going from 5.8 down to four. So I wouldn't have had enough time to get out there. I will do it again, uh, but I've got to wait for the winds to be below 35 kilometers an hour, okay? So we tried, but I think it should be coming home. Let's see if I can get it connected again. I think I got it to do the... Return to home. I guess that is one danger of having it automatically continue, isn't it? That if you do run into problems, you're SOL. And I may be SOL here. Was all those four Hmm, things, something I should have taken heed to. I'm disconnected. Well, I'll leave this facing that way. Okay, just like I did with the Femi. And I thought I got it returned to home. I thought I heard that command come in. We shall see. We know there's high winds up there. We know that. Uh, from that experience, 
I should be hearing it coming back about now. It's been going for six minutes. It still says it's disconnected. So we shall see. I may have just lost my Femi X8SE. Yeah. When you get those things happening, you just should not push your luck. I had this feeling a couple of years ago with the Mavic Mini. I was waiting and waiting and waiting and it just never came back. So if this is gone, completely my fault, completely, 100%. And the chances of getting it back are probably zero because it's flying over a lake. And unless I go up that way and I can connect to it, remotely well we'll have to wait we know we've got a half an hour seven minutes Let's see if we can pick up it here nothing absolutely nothing so maybe I didn't get it to return to home We don't know. We're just going to have to wait eight minutes. Well, that was three minutes out. Yeah, about that. So it should be three minutes coming back. So it should be back by now. The wind's calmed down a little bit. And it was one of my favorite drones. It says disconnected still. So where did it last connect? It last connected just over there. Hmm. Okay. So it's either, hmm. don't know. I know if this reaches 25 minutes, it's gone. Still says disconnected.
nothing yet. Well, there we go. I got something. at number five coming back. It says it's returning. It says it's returning. I, I don't believe this. It says it's returning. So let's... Wow. I'll just click this here. Okay, it says disconnected. I'm, I'm gonna have to do something. I'm gonna have to either make an, oh my God, or a, wow. Or something, yeah. It's about 79 meters, no, 500 meters away, and we've got 58% in the battery. Well, I don't know if I'm relieved, excited. Oh my God, thank goodness. So it says it's 355 meters away. I'm going to have to look at this, the whole video, to see where it actually went. I don't know. So stay tuned for that. It's returning. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where it went. It's been up there for 13 minutes. Maybe it got halfway. I hear it. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. And it's coming down. Wow. Hubson Zeno Mini SE. I thought it was gone. High winds, no connection. I don't know where it was, and I really should not have flown today. It's a little bit windy, but it's here. I'm just gonna cancel that. And we are going to stop the video because it doesn't automatically stop it. And we're down to 54%. Okay. And there it is. Stick down and land. Nice and smooth. Okay. Okay, let's put this here. Let's turn this off and as they say, thank your lucky stars. I, I have no words. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Thank you, thank you. Let's get this all put away. We'll look at the video. We'll get some answers, and I'll do a little bit of a narration at the end, okay? See you there. Well, it's the next day. It took me a while to go through that video and find out what went on. Still not 100% how it initiated the return to home before it finished the Waypoint mission. I'm gonna send it to Hubson, see what they say. Uh, I can only suspect that the command was entered into the system but didn't initiate until it got a strong signal again. But either way, it came home, everything's good. 
Okay. Again, uh, I'm going to put the whole video full screen from now okay, with the map insert to see where it went. And uh, you tell me, there is a little bit of jello in the beginning, but that could have been because of the, uh, the high winds. I don't know. And again, as soon as I saw high winds and uh, the uh, speed dropped drastically, uh, you know, I was, I was okay, let's, let's finish this, let's come home. And it didn't. And I had never been that anxious in a flight for a very, very long time. But it all worked out in the end. Great. Okay. The Hubson Zeno Mini SE, two thumbs up, three thumbs up. It worked. It's great. It's got a five kilometer range, which is okay. Uh, not ideal in my circumstance. I'd like it to just to go on a full battery. And it did come back with over 50% of the battery. So that means I can do another one on a better day and get some more detail. I want to see some of those roads that go around one of those lakes. Okay see where the trails are things like that okay so i'm going to play the whole video now full screen enjoy let me know what you think leave a comment below and again read the description below because i always put stuff in there that i kind of forget when i'm making all this stuff okay thanks for watching i appreciate everybody that's here get out there enjoy the fresh air and we'll see you in the next one bye now